The international Frederick Chopin piano competition has been held in Warsaw for almost 100 years. One of the oldest and most important events of its kind in the world, it is an exceptional competition, devoted entirely to the music of a single composer, the greatest Polish composer, Frederick Chopin. Every five years, pianists from all over the world travel to Warsaw to compete for the title of the finest Chopin interpreter of their generation. Of course, participation in the competition represents an incredible test of nerves, but far more important than that is the opportunity to present one's talent to millions of viewers around the world and to launch a fabulous global career. Poland regained its independence in 1918. Shortly afterwards, in 1925, at the initiative of the pianist and teacher Jerzy Zhirevlev, the idea of organizing an international Chopin competition arose. The first edition of the competition was held in 1927, in the beautiful building of the Warsaw Philharmonic. Taking to the musical lists were 26 pianists from eight countries. They included the 20-year-old Dmitry Shostakovich, representing the Soviet Union, who failed to win a prize. Victory went to another Soviet pianist, Liv Aborin, with second and third places going to Polish representatives Stanislav Spinalski and Roża Etkin Moszkowska. The competitors practiced in the private homes of wealthy Varsovians, since the organizers did not think of providing a suitable practice room. That oversight was never repeated. The second edition of the competition was held in 1932. One of the jurors was the great Polish composer Karol Szymanowski, while Maurice Ravel came especially from France as an honorary guest of the jury. The second competition was won by the Soviet pianist Alexander Uninsky. The last pre-war edition of the Chopin competition took place in 1937. Competing for the first time were Japanese pianists, now well known for their love of Friedrich Chopin, who caused quite a sensation. First prize went to Yakov Zak of the Soviet Union. The Polish pianist Witold Malczuzinski took third place, which provided a springboard to a marvelous career. The Second World War caused a 12-year hiatus between competitions. During the war, Warsaw was almost entirely razed to the ground by the Germans. The Warsaw Philharmonic was destroyed, and many Polish pianists and teachers either died or emigrated. The first post-war competition took place in 1949, when the whole world was commemorating the centenary of Frédéric Chopin's death. The fourth competition was held at the Roma Theatre, which had survived the ravages of war. Equal first prize went to Halina Czerny Stefańska from Poland and Bela Davidowicz from the USSR. In 1955, the new Warsaw Philharmonic, erected on the site of the previous building, was inaugurated. The fifth edition of the competition was held there, as all subsequent editions have been. The winner was the Polish pianist Adam Hadyszewicz, with second place going to Vladimir Ashkenazi of the USSR, and the Chinese pianist Fu Te Song coming third. The 1955 competition was not just a great artistic event, but also a society event, with the audience including the music-loving Queen Elizabeth of Belgium. The sixth edition of the competition was held in 1960, during the Chopin year organized under the patronage of UNESCO to mark the 150th anniversary of the composer's birth. The jury that year was the biggest ever, with 36 members, including Nadia Boulanger and Witold Malczuzinski, as well as Arthur Rubinstein as an honorary member. The winner was the 18-year-old Italian pianist Maurizio Pellini. Kurs Chopinowski zakończony. Jury zakończyło swe prace. Werdykt wydany. Pierwszy.
Pierwsza nagroda, 18-letni Maurizio Pollini. Jego interpretacja muzyki szopenowskiej budziła zgodny podziw już od pierwszego etapu. Po raz pierwszy pianista w Woski zdobył tę trudną i zaszczytną nagrodę. The next edition of the competition in 1965 began in an unusual way, with performances of works by contemporary Polish composers Kazimierz Sierocki, Witold Szalonek and Tadeusz Berd, and also by Karol Szymanowski. For the third time, the competition was won by a woman, the Argentinian pianist Marta Archeric who was very nearly eliminated as she tried to flee the Philharmonic before her first performance. Pierwsza nagroda Marta Argerich z Argentyny. Ona także dostała nagrodę Polskiego Radia za najlepsze wykonanie Mazurków i za walca Azdur. Nieprzytomna ze szczęścia i trudno się dziwić. The eighth edition of the competition in 1970 was won by Garik Olsen from the US with Mitsuko Uchida of Japan's second and Piotr Peleczny of Poland III. In 1975, the Polish audience flocked to cheer on the Polish representative Christian Simmerman, and it was not let down. In the ninth competition, Simmerman won first prize and nearly all the special prizes. The next competition took place in 1980 in an atmosphere of heightened political tension. In Poland, it was the time of solidarity and great hopes for the fall of communism. The competition was ultimately won by the Vietnamese pianist Dang Thai Son, who, during the final, gave his first ever performance with a symphony orchestra. He also shared the Mazurka Prize with Eva Pubłowska and the prize for the best performance of a Polonaise or concerto with Tatiana Szybanowa. A great scandal was caused when Ivo Pogorelic failed to reach the final. As a sign of protest, Matar Archaric left the jury. In 1985, the 11th competition was won by Stanislav Bunin of the USSR. In 1990, at the 12th competition, no first prize was awarded. Second prize went to Kevin Kenner from the US. The competition was visited by two crowned heads of state, the Spanish Queen Sofia and the Belgian Queen Fabiola. In 1995, first prize was again withheld, much to the disappointment of the audience and the competitors alike. Second prize was shared by Felipe Jussiama from France and Alexei Sultanov from Russia. Jury 13. Międzynarodowego Konkursu Pianistycznego imienia Fryderyka Chopina zdecydowało nie przyznać pierwszej nagrody. Przyznać dwie drugie nagrody dla Aleksii Sultanow. The 14th edition of the competition in 2000 was won by the Chinese pianist Yundi Li, who became a national hero overnight. Five years later, the national hero was the Polish pianist Rafał Blechacz, who also, like Christian Simmerman before him, received nearly all the special prizes. Pierwszą nagrodę otrzymuje numer 5, number 5, Rafał Blechacz. First prize, Rafał Blechacz, Poland.
The 16th edition of the competition was held in 2010, when the whole world was celebrating the bicentenary of the birth of Frédéric Chopin. That was the first edition to be organized by the Frédéric Chopin Institute. Young pianists sought inspiration in such settings as the newly opened Frédéric Chopin Museum and the beautiful park surrounding the birthplace of Frédéric Chopin in Zilezovar Vola. The prize winners of that anniversary competition were Daniel Trifonov, Ingolf Wunder, Lukas Genusius, and the winner of the gold medal, Juliana Avdieva. The 17th edition of the competition in 2015 was the most mediatized of all. A record number of viewers followed the competition on television, radio and above all, the internet. A total of 31 million people. The winner was the Korean pianist Sung Jin Cho. Each edition of the Chopin competition is a great celebration for music lovers, offering them the chance to discover wonderful new artists. It is a great experience, which remains in hearts and minds forever. What will the 18th edition of the competition bring? We'll soon find out in October 2020.